All right. So, um, the last video I did, I'm gonna post. It'll be posted. Uh, I don't know. Uh, first video I've ever done. Um, and realized I had some music playing in the background. So we'll see how long that actually stays up. So this one I'm gonna do no music. Um, but I'm listening to music because I don't want to do this without listening to music. So if you see me kind of bopping around and wondering why, it's not just the music and the voices in my head. It's the music in my ear for the most part. All right, we're going to try four colors. Um, last, uh, so you saw the first disc in the last video, and then I haven't done a video for this yet, but same colors. Um, came out a little lighter. I put more pink in this one uh, than that first one. Use more pink in this one. Um, not physically more, but this one I did blue, pink, purple, blue, pink, purple. This one I did blue, pink, purple, pink, blue, pink, purple, pink. Um, I don't know. I really like them both. Uh, much better with the glue bubbles on this one than this one. Um, poured the glue crazy slow, mixed slower, etc. Um, one bad one uh, and some tiny ones, but uh, otherwise pretty good. Uh, and the spin came out pretty nice on both. So, um, yeah. Gonna try four colors. Uh, I'm gonna do a method, this Mania method. Um, same Neo plastic. It's been doing great. Um, kind of a gold stamp. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, yellow, lilac, bright red, and clear orange. Uh, all pro chem. We'll see. Uh, see what we get. Um, I'll do a little less dye since I'm doing four colors. Uh, and I keep having about that much of my cup left after my pour of all my colors. So I'm gonna do everything a little smaller. A, I'm using four, and B, I don't wanna be wasting it. Um, quarter teaspoon of dye this time for uh, each color. Um, I'm making less, uh, close to half as much, I think. So, um, we'll see. Uh, if the color is still kind of nice, I'll probably maybe leave it longer. Um, that second one I did, uh, I did for eight hours. Um, like the first Enigma. Uh, on medium heat uh, the whole time on the heating pad. Uh, may leave this a little longer since I am using a little less dye. Uh, and that second one, weirdly, since uh, same amount of time and actually a little more heat than uh, the uh, first one. The first one I did eight hours, but I did two hours on number two out of six heat and uh second one i did for eight hours uh but on three i'm sorry the first one i did eight hours four hours on two four hours on three uh this second one i did eight hours all on three which i thought would give me a little more saturation but it did a little less but also more pink who knows learn something new hopefully every time so uh same procedure I'm gonna do about two milliliters uh, of acetone in each color. Woohoo! Spit on my pink blue last time, so honestly, I'd rather spill it now than spill all the glue. Uh, and then denatured alcohol. Uh, same thing, about two milliliters. Seems to be working just fine. Turn. Up, swirl them up. 
a little. Seems nearly impossible at that point to use a popsicle stick or anything in that little bit of liquid. So, all right, so we're gonna do the glue. Um, and like I said, with that second enigma, I got a lot less glue bubbles and I poured the glue at every point in the process much slower. Glue at this point really slow. Um, and this time I poured the glue and then mixed uh, and then added Floetrol and mixed, which you'll see. Um, and then did four drops exactly of silicone oil and did just kind of a slight mix. And all my stirs, uh, when I poured the glue, uh, uh, mix with glue and then mix with Floetrol, I stirred slower. Um, I just trying to do anything I can do uh, or have advice I've been given to uh, eliminate the glue bubbles. So uh, this part became pretty tedious. So I really did just try to, I don't know how visible that is to y'all exactly, but before I was just like turning the glue bottle and just glug, glug, glug dumping it in um so all right so some new sticks stir like I said earlier just kind of try to go slower and not so much whip up the glue thereby creating bubbles I imagine no matter what by stirring we're going to create bubbles but have to assume logically that the faster you stir the more bubbles you will create so let's continue on this slow steady occasionally scraping you can see you know, we continually get darker ribbons of color as the dye comes up off the bottom pretty nice consistent color there not getting any color and dark spots coming up from the bottom big bubbles big bubbles I don't mind they're easy to pop so there's little teeny tiny ones in the bed once it's poured that are just the bane of my existence at the moment. One more. All right, uh, stirred kind of slowly. Big bubbles pop nicely. I honestly, at this point, don't know. Man, still need more yellow. mix that kind of fast and I see more small small bubbles popping up than the other ones had but I'm gonna do our you know about that much flow charm I was told that maybe a little more flow charm would help the glue bubble problem glue bubble problem uh, as by thinning out the medium, it would allow bubbles to escape to the top easier in the bed, and therefore making them poppable. So, I'll just all right. So, we've got four colors. And some bubbles. Purple's not bad. Purple and red aren't too bad. Or the orange. Yellow's a little worse. Not bad. Anyway. All right, we're gonna put some of our handy dandy silicone oil in. Um, trying really hard to get exactly four drops. Uh, 
pour kind of drips out. From a control standpoint, this is just better off. If I usually leave the top one, it just squirts out, and trying to do drops like that just kind of uh, runs down the side and drops everywhere anyway. So let's just get our handy dandy eyedropper. Thought about five. Yeah, I'm sticking with four. Really nice. Cells uh, in the Enigma from yesterday. So let's stick with four. That was four drops in each except for one and five. But we're not going to tell anyone. All right. Not a ton of st stirring here. Just going to kind of turn it up and through. Not really getting too crazy. Alright, uh, pour into the jar, handy dandy towel, as you saw the last video, I have a hard time apparently not making a mess. I'm going to kind of go with that order I think, I don't want to do these two on top of each other, too dark I think, I don't know, again. Not even in the ballpark of an artist. That's why my new motto is if I can die, you can die. Again, going to pour really slow here. I already start to see a really cool stack going on in there. Kind of also just experimenting with kind of the amount of dye I pour. Each time, sometimes I pour just kind of a little bit, sometimes I pour a little more. Okay, the full jar, still have leftover dye. More than I wanted. Anyway, uh, we're gonna move this project inside. I'll see you there. All right, welcome back. Um, so, thing I didn't do last time was the level. So, I have a 12 inch level and a four foot level. So. We're gonna use this handy bandy Reynolds wrap here. Use it as an extension of our level. Oh, that'll... Level. This. Turn our heating pad on. I'm gonna do this one on two since I got better saturation on the last one with two. Uh, and make sure we turn the auto off. Off. So it stays on. All right, time to pour. This on top. Flip. And I will actually level this again. Oh wow, that looks freaking cool. Oh boy, there it goes. It's so hard to just drop it. For it to not just drop. I should say. Right. I'll check this again because. Okay. Beautiful swirls. Got some big bubbles.
Alright, so that's the second one. This was in about nine hours. And while I don't hate it, I definitely wanted it darker. We'll add a little spin dot to it tomorrow. We'll be good. All right, back with the method. I'm gonna put a little small spin die on this because, as I learn and learn, hopefully you learn from my mistakes as I figure this out. Um, so. I'm just going to do, I think, this very little bit on the edge there that, uh, you know, where the glue stops. I don't know if I need a little more glue or just a hair bit of weight to get it to go to the edge, the dye to the edge, but either way, I like doing the spin dies on the edge, so super cool with that. Um, but I'm just going to do the edge because um, I found out on this Enigma, you can kind of see it's like a dark blue, almost purple into purple and there's black um, and something I didn't take into account was uh, once the disc has been glue dyed or cell dyed in the glue bed uh, the dye that you try to spin on it is going to take on a different color potentially because of the background dye so uh, in the future I'm gonna learn how to uh, do a latex uh, rim on these so I have a nice white edge to spin up later so um this one really came out sweet uh, i'm super happy with it um and i don't want to take the chance of trying to put some color on this edge that turns into something else on that method where it turned uh, almost black uh was supposed to be pink and it came out orange so ugly that i just had to cover it because it just did not match the disc at all and otherwise i was super happy with the disc and couldn't leave it like that so uh, it was kind of a cover-up with that um, so this I'm just gonna do that very bottom edge uh, in hopefully hot pink uh, the disc has some pink in it so we'll hope that that uh, hope that that it's as close as I'm gonna get I believe although take a little closer look at these bad boys happy with that. So, um, I still have some pink left, uh, already mixed, it's I dye poly pink. It's a toothpick, or a Q-tip, again. And just try to get that bottom edge. Should we keep that line super, super straight where the glue bed ended uh, not start skipping up and then we have to bring the whole thing up and then, you know, next thing you know, we're spin dying into the middle of the logo because I have a tendency to not know when to stop, especially with the spin dies, so. Let's see how this bad boy looks. Oh, yeah. I really like that. Real clean, just cleaned up the edge. Color's really nice. I'd really like to take it up onto the disc, honestly. Um, but just afraid that that color that we have there is not going to be the same color if I try to put it on the dyed part of the disc. So, next time we'll certainly uh, get a little silicone. Or uh, latex, I should say, 
when I run it to the edge, give myself some room to do something cool with the spin. But either way, that's a real nice color. This guy is uh, officially done. I'm going to wash it again. Um, and uh, probably put it up on this exchange on Reddit. See what if anybody wants it. All right, Joe. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if I can die, you can die. Have at it, y'all.